Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry if I look like I did not put a lot of effort with my look today because I just came back from the gym and I have to record this video before I go to Korea next week. So, enough talking about me. I just need to explain why my makeup is so ugly. Anyway, so we are not here to talk about me and I know I'm sitting on the floor. The background doesn't have... Um, an effort but just listen to what i have to say about this new bag that we are going to talk about and it's called the vibe it's a new monogram bag and uh not very new because it's derived from the archives of old bags not all okay vintage bags that we had before so um if you are interested in this new bag uh just keep on watching until the end and learn more maybe this is going to be the next bag that you are going to purchase. If you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I am a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore and uh, this channel is all about Louis Vuitton products, Louis Vuitton updates, luxury brands in general. So if you are into this kind of things, please do not forget to subscribe to help me grow this channel. Okay, Vibe, uh, what is it all about? So the Vibe has been launched uh, two days ago as I'm recording this video, I think on the 28th. And um, monogram small bags just like the Eve, Eve, Ivy, sorry, Ivy has been very, very popular in the past few years and uh, it's a recreation of an old bag. So uh, I think this is something that you might be interested in. So, as I say be, uh, a while ago, this bag has been derived from the archives. The old bag is called Viva Cite, V-I-V-A-C-I-T-E. Please correct me if I am pronouncing the Cite, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, if, if I'm not pronouncing it right. So, there, is, there are two sizes for this old bag, the GM and the PM. Oh, actually, there's an MM too. So there are three sizes for this. Uh, it was launched in 2003 and discontinued in 2009. And um, after that, this is the first recreation of this. And this is called the Vibe. In alignment to all the reviews that I had in the past, I am going to talk about the material first. And it's made of canvas monogram. It is a structured bag. You have the piping and the support on the sides as well uh, that is in vvm leather so it is mainly the main bag is canvas and vvm leather and uh, i don't think i need to discuss the advantages of disadvantages of it but if you don't know vvm leather is uh something that is not very easy to maintain it is uh, something that uh, you really have to look after for unless you are in love with how its season and how it turned out after a few years. It will turn darker if you get caught in the rain, if you may have water stains, but uh, we don't have other options right now. We don't have a leather for this bag. So uh, if you are concerned with this uh, wear and tear of Vivian leather, then this is probably not a bag for you. But for the canvas, it can survive over the years if you know how to store it properly because canvas is uh, a very durable material, especially for a bag. Now, moving on with the straps that comes with it, it comes with, of course, the jacket strap. And uh, if you've been watching my video for quite some time, jacket strap, I'm not a fan of it. I don't see the good part of having a jacket strap in any of the bag. Although some bags actually look good in it, but I don't think it's a trend that will last very long. Although it's been here for since 2019 and now it's 2024. So I guess it lasts for a couple of years, but... I don't think it's um, elegant, although it's meant to be really casual. I'm a casual person, but I'd rather have a leather strap over a jacket strap. So this comes with a short jacket strap. That's the look for a short shoulder carry. And this jacket strap comes with a LV Circle logo in the middle. It is white and it has a beige uh, on the sides. It also has a Vivian leather on the uh, snap hook to support the strap. So also has a Vivian leather and it's in white. So uh, please be uh, mindful that white, any light color can get easily dirty over time. You can't wash it because uh, it has a leather on the side, but I know a few people who send it for dry cleaning, but I don't know if it's effective. Don't, don't take my word for it because um, you 
I don't know if it can be cleaned just in case it gets dirty over dry cleaning, but I know some people that it was effective for them for some of their jacket strap. But to be honest, I don't have a personal experience about it. The other strap that comes with it is an adjustable leather strap, which you can see in most of the Louis Vuitton bag. It's also in VVN leather. It is in 16 mm width, so uh, it's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's a perfect uh, width for me for for a, a small bag strap. Now I will show you how it looks like um, when worn. So this is my colleague. I think this is Fafa. I don't know who this is. I'm sorry, Fafa, if it was you. I don't remember if it's Fafa or Pat, but this is how it looks like when it was worn. It is worn as a shoulder carry with a jacket strap. It's not bad, but as I say, my personal opinion, just me, I'm not a fan of the jacket strap, but at least they added um, a Vivian leather strap as a crossbody bag. Now I'm pretty sure this is Fafa. Okay, so uh, we have uh, this leather Vivian strap and I put it on the second to the, f I think third hole from the top. And uh, this is the length for her. She is almost the same height as me, about five feet, but she is more petite than me. So uh, it is just nice. And if you are taller than her, if you're shorter than her, you still have um, an allowance or, or extra holes to achieve the length that you want for your bag as a crossbody bag. Now, one thing I love about this bag is the compartments because it has a lot of uh, pockets. I mean, inside you have that, that uh, pocket on the side, as you will see in most of the uh, bags. You have the uh, two pockets in front and one pocket at the back. And uh, I'm just going to roughly show you what fits inside. I won't uh, put anything on the uh, pocket in front because it's fairly obvious. Actually, there are a lot of uh, things that you can fit in it. Uh, your ear pods. Uh, card holder a small one those flat ones but the main compartment uh, this is how a phone actually fits uh, this is my colleague Rashid putting his iPhone Pro Max so yes your Pro Max can fit and a uh, small card holder I will not suggest a long wallet with it even if it can fit please do not carry a long wallet for a small bag because it defeats the purpose of having a small bag it will just occupy the whole space in your bag. So uh, have an alternative wallet or a card holder and this actually has more space for your other essentials. Unfortunately, it's not as big. I would say that this is in line with the IV wallet on chain, but just a little bit bigger. So um, it's still practical in my opinion. There are a lot of uh, ridiculously small bag that cannot fit inside. So in my opinion, this is actually a very good size. Now the price is uh, 3,600 Singapore dollars, 3,600 Singapore dollars, uh, less than 4,000 is okay, but this is a small bag. I think the price is likely higher than what I expect it to be, um, but uh, we are not the one who's putting the price on the product, so there's really nothing we can do with it. The reason why I think this is more on the higher prices is that it comes with two straps and um, I think there are more compartments in it, but um, it's almost $800 difference from the Ivy Wallet on Chain. If you haven't seen the review of my wallet, Ivy Wallet on Chain, I will link it down below. The, you can find it also on my uh, popular videos because it's the most pop popular video in my channel. But overall, to be honest, um, I'm not really a fan of it. I am, I think, just me, okay? so. I think I'm done with the monograms. Uh, monogram is um, is an iconic piece. It will always be, but I think at this stage, for me, I would rather invest into uh, leather bags or more high-end bags. Uh, if I could afford cappuccino, I would go for cappuccinos. But you know, we have different tastes and different styles. So if uh, this bag would actually suit your style go ahead and uh, try it in the store. I think having two straps is also quite uh, flexible. It's like the Dayan having a jacker strap longer and uh, Vivian strap shorter. It's the opposite way in this uh, bag. But overall, I think this is still a classic bag that can last a long time. It's a timeless. Any K 
canvas bag actually is a timeless piece because it's i said it's an iconic piece the shape is also not very unusual so it is not unique it is not very trendy but this uh, the, the advantage of it is that it will never go out of style you can pass it on to generations to generations if you know time comes that you will have a daughter or a granddaughter i think this vintage looking bag is always something that anyone could wear so yeah i think um i i really don't have much opinion about this bag and i want to just get it out there before i fly off uh, so yeah i i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i answer all your questions regarding this new bag and uh if you have any more questions i will try to answer them uh, just comment it down below and uh yeah and thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next video